Hi, Shawnee here. I'm back with part two of my creme caramel video series. So this portion, I'm going to be making my custard portion. So what I have in place is two cups of heavy whipping cream, three eggs at room temperature, three egg yolks at room temperature, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 325, which has already started. And I'm gonna take my two cups of heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna put them in a saucepan over medium heat. Now, if you want to, you can use one cup of heavy cream and one cup of milk. I'm gonna use two cups of heavy cream. So what we want when we do this is, we want this milk to come to um, not a boil, but just bubbling on the sides and on the edges. So while that starts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a large bowl and I'm gonna take my three room temperature eggs, my three egg yolks, my one teaspoon of vanilla, my eighth teaspoon of salt, and my half a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna mix those up. I just wanna make sure that everything is incorporated. So now that's done, I can set that aside and I'm just waiting now. It's gonna be about three or four minutes for my heavy cream mixture to get those bubbles on the side. Now in the time being, what I'm gonna have is a large measuring device and a sieve, if you will, because we're gonna to need to strain our mixture before we put it into our caramel bottomed ramekins. So we can move these things out of the way. Now, when our heavy cream is heated with the bubbles on the sides, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna pour it and mix it at the same time as we're pouring into our egg mixture. It's getting there. Oscar. <laughs> That's Oscar Wiener. He's 16 and a half. He's an old boy. <laughs> so our bubbles are forming. Just keep on stirring. Oscar again. He's my kitchen helper. He's always ready for fallout. So my milk is bubbling just the way I want it, so I'm gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna incorporate it slowly into my egg mixture. My oven's preheated. As I incorporate this into my egg mixture, I'm gonna be stirring like crazy. Just a little bit at a time. And it's turning into this very light yellow color. So it's completely incorporated. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain it. 
And the reason we're restraining it is because within inside the egg, there is the chalice, that substance that holds the yolk suspended within the egg. And we want to make sure that that's not in this mixture. So there we go. Now we have our ramekins, which I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to pour it so that each one has an even amount in it. This recipe yields six ramekins that are three-fourths cup each. And if you have a little bit left over, you can just go back through and even it out between all of them. And I do, I have just a little bit left. So that's perfect. So now it's going to go in the oven and what, before I put it in, I'm going to fill this up with boiling water and I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it for about 35 minutes. So when we come back, we're going to take it out and we're going to see what it looks like. So I've just taken my creme caramel out of the oven. I did put it in for an additional five minutes. So it baked for 40 minutes at 325 degrees. So. It's out of the oven now, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take each one and I'm gonna put it onto a cooling rack. I use tongs to do this. Just make sure you get a really, really good grip. It can be a little tricky. look really good. They're just a little bit jiggly like they're supposed to be, which is perfect. There we go. Now what'll happen is after I'm done putting all these on the cooling rack, I'll let them cool for about 15 minutes to 30 minutes, and then I'll put them in the refrigerator for about two hours. And we have our last one. After about two hours in the refrigerator, we'll come back and we'll put them on the plate and we'll see how they look.